yeah, 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 yeah. Ay, coming in, yeah. Flex, I just wanna win, yeah. LA BB, who we running with, yeah. Two times, I'm on 10 again, yeah. State your name, big, big dope on flame. I just switched the lanes. What is up, Sarchi family? Welcome back to another vlog. Hi there, we're gonna get started for you today. Hey, can I get a triple long espresso in a tall cup? Triple long espresso in a tall cup? Yeah, that's correct. That's my favorite. Anything else for you today? Uh, that's it, thank you. Wonderful. Three tens are total. See you up here. It's her favorite. What is up, Sarchi family? So as you guys can see, I am starting off today's vlog in a Starbucks drive-thru. I am actually driving five hours to go meet up with my good buddy Carlo. It's been a while since I've seen him. I'm gonna stay out there for a little while filming a bunch of videos. I need to stockpile on some videos. The only thing is, is I feel so bad guys and I, I feel so freaking depressed and sad because I have to leave my wife and she's pregnant and she's not feeling good at all, which is what's really bothering me about this. But. I do have to work, I do have to grind. She wants me to go, she doesn't want me just sitting around at home. And I need to make videos and content for you guys. So I want you all to wish Shadia the best in the comments below. This pregnancy has been super duper hard on her. It's our first pregnancy ever, but she's had pregnancy sickness day and night. It never ends, I don't know when it ends. She tried pills that were prescribed to her from the doctor. Nothing is working, she's just nauseous and sick. Oh, I feel bad for women, man. Honestly, I wish I can take some of her pains away and some of her sickness away. But it doesn't work that way. I really wish I could. I love you, Shadia. Um, I wish, wish her down in the comments below some love, guys. And without further ado, let's grab my espresso, hit the road, and get on with this day. Ooh, yeah, espresso. Without that, I cannot function. But guys, it is a beautiful day. It looks cold. It looks miserable out. And that's because it is cold and miserable out. But it's actually warmer than the usual cold, so I'm happy with that. And where I'm going, it's supposed to be, like, literally 3 degrees all week long. So I'm very awesome. Very happy about that. 3 degrees Celsius, by the way, not Fahrenheit. Um, so it's going to be a little bit warmer than here in Ottawa. We've been getting killed with snow and cold, and I've just had about enough of it. A really long drive I finally reached Toronto and you can tell that because look at all this damn traffic this is not good I still got another hour to go and there's accidents everywhere there's freaking tow trucks there's fire trucks this is Toronto for you if you guys don't know what Toronto looks like it's just basically a really big mess of buildings and cars and it's probably I don't know it might be as busy as Los Angeles to be honest but I just hate it. I hate coming here because of all the busyness. Guys, look at this. I have a pimple and it came to life. <laughs> <laughs> what? No, leave Angelo alone. Wait, have you met Angelo before? Yeah. Oh, you have? Well, okay. Wait to Chris him. He knows how I am. So all right, so I got Carlo and Angelo today. We just literally met up. And yo, straight up, I've never had a pimple before in my life. Look at this thing. It looks like Carlo. I'm just joking. But yo, are you hungry or what? Wait, wait, wait. I'm on a diet. I'm working out. I'm gonna box. You look buff. You wanna box me? I got someone in mind. Who? After a long ass freaking drive, I finally get to stuff my face with my favorite guys. I literally bought a meal for three people. This is legit a meal for three people, right? Like, it literally says it on the freaking menu. But I eat it all by myself because, you know what? This is the only meal I'm having today. It's all good. What are you having, Carlo? Quarter chicken. Yeah, look at Carlo. Carlo's actually dieting now. Big shot. You've actually lost weight, though, which is good. How long have you been dieting for? A month. A month? That's pretty good. Guys, we just got kicked out of the restaurant because Carlo over here grabbed my pee inside the restaurant. I couldn't find it though, that was a problem. Oh my I was god. Oh my I couldn't find that's it. That's a good one, that's a good one. Yo, I just pulled a classic Mo Sarji. Oh my god, as if I just did that. Are you sure it's not back there? I'm positive it's not back there. I ordered a really big meal just so I can have some leftovers later because we're going on a road trip and I, I, I'd rather have food on hand. I forgot the whole thing at the restaurant. I'm not going back for it. If somebody finds it, they can have it. Fuck. <laughs> Damn, and today, this morning, I went to the gas station, I bought gas, and I bought a car wash. And when I I forgot to take the receipt from the machine to go use the car wash, because I was like, you know what, I'll just go to a different car wash later, because that car wash was busy. So I, I left a free car washer for someone today. Jesus, what's wrong with me today? You know what, this is me being excited because I get to see my baby over here. 
my baby Carlo, Carlito. He changed his hair color too, it's sexy. It's turning me on. It's blonde. Oh, blondie, yeah. So, as you guys can see, I have changed. I'm not looking like uh, clean mo, I'm looking like good looking mo. Oh, yeah. Carlo, stop touching my pee pee. Hey, don't make me change my outfit right now. I'll get naked. <laughs> that was spontaneous. So, this is probably the first time Angel's gone on a road trip with me and Carlo. Uh, we're not really going on a big road trip, but we're just going somewhere to film tonight. Somewhere really haunted and spooky that you guys have been wanting me to go back to. The thing is with Carlo is he likes to touch our all the time. Yeah. Yeah, he just admitted it. Oh, that's going in the video. That's going in the video. I was trolling, but see, there you go. Proof right there. Hey. But the thing is. We got to make it fun. We got to make it fun. If you're not having fun on a trip, then you shouldn't be on that trip. Plain and simple. Now let's go and summon up some demons. So I got some good news and I got some bad news for you guys. The good news is we made it back to the haunted hill house. This house, I've been here a couple times before. A lot of you guys emailed me and wanted me to come back here and do an investigation. So I decided to come back here with Carlo and Angela, but look at this. Someone set the fucking house on fire. Some piece of shit, low life scumbag, actually set the house on fire. Look at this, you guys. All that's left is just the concrete, the bricks. Oh my God. Look at this, it's nothing but ruins now. This is so sad. I hate this. Whoever did this, I hope you burn in hell. Straight up. It sucks. I mean, I'm still getting content out of this, but it, this place was really special. It, it's just so creepy looking, and it actually had some haunted history to it. Dude, even the giant garage is gone. No. Nothing the left, huh? The barn, the barn is gone too, yeah. Somebody set fire to everything. Oh, Look yeah, at that. The foundation right here. Yeah, all that's left is the... That's where the basement was. Yeah. Whoa. Why would someone do that, man? I don't know if you guys can see that, but that's where that satanic ritual took place. In the middle of the living room. But the living room is no longer there. The floors are gone. It's completely collapsed. There's nothing left to this place. What a shame. This is what it looks like on the backside. Man, I'm so pissed. Yep, yeah, so this explore is not gonna happen. I was so ready to spend a lot of the night here today investigating this place. I brought all my gear with me, um, but it's okay, we got more to film. Very strange, my K2's going off out here though. Is it? Yeah, it actually is, look at this. It just gave me a couple of yellow blinks. I wonder if like the spirits are just lingering, lingering around outside. Oh yeah, look, look, it's yellow. It's going to yellow, Angel, come see this. Whoa, that's, that's interesting. Yeah. Well, rest in peace to this house. This was a really cool location to film in, and now it's just gonna be ruins. I doubt they're gonna take this place down anytime soon. It's gonna sit here in ruins for a very, very long time. Years from now, people are gonna wonder what happened to this place. Well, this channel right here, you'll know what happened to it because we've done two videos before. The first time we came here, none of the windows were boarded up. Um, I think there was a barn and a lot of the house, a lot of stuff was still inside the house the second time. A lot of things were destroyed. They completely boarded up the windows. And now, well, the last time I was here was last winter. So a year difference and this is what happened. Somebody set it on fire. So it seems like our luck has changed for the night. We just finished filming an abandoned little ghost town. It's almost an abandoned neighborhood. But you can technically call it a ghost town. Um, I'm not going to show any of the footage in this video. I'm going to leave that for the main channel video. It was really cool. Filmed two really creepy looking haunted houses. Um, there, were, there were more than two houses in the abandoned neighborhood. I'm sorry, it is loud. I'm literally on top of the freeway. Standing all by myself out here. But I would have filmed the other houses, but they were all sealed tight. And I'm not about to break and enter into anything. When it comes to the abandoned life, if the house is open, if it's wide open, and if there's no sign saying you can't be there, you can technically go in. Now, I don't want you guys going in because I don't want you guys to hurt yourself or get in trouble. That's why I do it and you guys watch it from my eyes. So that's why today I only managed to film two out of all the bunch of other houses that were abandoned in this neighborhood. I don't know how long I'm gonna be up here. I just wanna stockpile some videos. So I don't think I'm gonna be seeing my wife anytime soon. But my boy CJ might be coming to link up with me sometime soon. And we're probably gonna be filming some new videos together for February and I'm very excited about that. Cause CJ, my boy and I, we haven't filmed in quite some time. 
And I want you guys to go and spam CJ all over my Twitter. Tell him, yo, go see Mo right now. Yo, what's up, my people? <laughs> what? <laughs> I'm ending off the vlog. Oh, okay. I hope you guys enjoyed today's vlog. Uh, I know it wasn't much. It's just me traveling to go see my pimple over here. Um, oh, baby. <laughs> big shout out to Carlos. Shout out to Angela as well. Um, don't forget, guys. Be you, do you, stay positive. And let Shadi know that you guys are praying for her in the comments below. She's not doing too well. I really wish I didn't have to be here. But, you know, first of all, I got to make videos to continue giving you guys awesome content. And second of all, I missed the pimple over here. You wish you weren't here? Thanks a lot. I mean, like, I wish I was with my wife. I'm Let's, your wife. You're my second wife. Okay. You're my. I can live with that. My male wife. <laughs> but you're the wo woman in the fa in this relationship. No not, problem. Not me. I got the big ding dong. Anyway, smash the like button. Don't forget to be you. Do you stay positive and just live a little. See you later, Sergio family.